Hello everybody, my name is Jababalu and welcome to Burden. Oh, standard game right here. You know, we start out dark corridors, pretty dark, empty, isolated. Oh, lag spike. There's a clock on the floor. The silence is playing a deep tone while the long clock handles t is ticking loudly, counting the last minutes of my life. Oh, uh, we don't care about that. Oh, oh, don't don't care about the clock. Laptop. I haven't seen my brother since the day they took him away. Thanks to my mother, I don't know where to look anymore. But I am the only one who is doing something. Wait, you need to stop looking at that. You need to stop looking at your laptop. I hate going to the those feels pills I have to drink make me feel dizzy no I always had a problem with me alcohol drugs and those dirty whores I spent a lot of money and time with I guess I was I guess I was looking for my brother in the wrong place I enjoy writing stories about the world would come to the end. Whoa, wow, we're depressing. Yeah. We are depressing, apparently. Booze. I love Maria so much. It was her fault. I'm not trying to think about her. I just think about her with my drink. I just think about her. A knife bloody knife I blame my mother for everything but now my hatred towards her is satisfied uh oh what do we do did we kill her did we kill your mom ambulance I still can remember the sight of them pulling my father into the ambulance truck after I overdose on mom's pills well we seem like we're a troubled type of person Blank, blank, and blank. Nothing to say about the tent there, Picasso. A hammer has still some crumbs of skull on it. I will never forgive myself for what I've done. What have you done? The clock is still ticking, killing the silence which grows larger and larger. But a small space surrounding the clock is allowed, not allowed to visit. Uh, let's see. I continued to walk for some time until the train came. It took me away from this world. Finally, at last, a short moment of peace for a tormented mind. We're going to continue. Why would I quit? I rented some cheap apartment, but I started to feel like something was pressuring me from all sides. A constant buzzing in my ear as an unintelligible jewel uh, mumbling in the back of my mind, almost like demons were trying to possess me. I knew what I had to do. To ease my mind, I went back in the, in the back of the house and killed my mother in her sleep. I never felt better in my life before, but soon after, guilty emerged and mixed in with pleasure. Oh, we are a weirdo. My girlfriend Maria saw what I, I was acting strange, so I decided for us to go camping, a trip to cheer me up. She also invited a few of her co-workers with us. It was fun, but the urge to kill again was whispering into my ear. Yeah, we're kind of a trip. Mike, when they tried to kidnap my little brother, I was heartbroken. The police were incapable of finding him. And that's, w and they still are. Dad was suffering from a mental illness before, and when they kidnapped my brother, Dad fell into a deep depression. Isaac, 
after dad committed suicide, mom started using more and more drugs. I moved out of the house because I almost lost everything that I ever loved in that house. I couldn't stand being around my mother, and I started to blame her for everything that's happened. It's your fault! No. Yeah, we're, we're obviously somebody going through some mental di problems here. Ooh, a hammer. I hit her jaw with a hammer. Jesus Christ. Blood was pouring out of her mouth along the broken marble teeth. One blow was not enough. I had to swing once more. I lifted the hammer as far as I could over my head. Then I slammed it into her skull with ferratic speed. In a moment of passion, I forgot about Maria. I loved her so much, but she would never love, forgive me for what I've done. I took her to the house and tied her up to a chair in a basement. Wow, we sound like a psychopath. Oh! What's that, a ghost? What? What? Is that a ghost? Some. We're gonna go! Gonna run! Gotta run! I'm being chased now. Crash Bandicoot style. Okay, I'm running somewhere, and I just don't know where. Where is thy running? Running from the dark? Running from the dark. Yeah, I'm running from... Oh, God. Ah! No! Okay, I got caught up by a dark cloud. Is it my guilt? It's nine times I tell my guilt. Woo! Woo, nope. Running away from my guilt. Going to flip where I could. No, no, no. No! Ah! Oh, come on, darkness. What are you doing? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? You want me to kill? Come on, come and get me. Oh, God. Never mind. Don't go away. No! Okay, so the darkness is not my friend in this fight. So I'm going to have to. I can't run. I don't know what's up with all these people you play as that don't like running. Running is essential for survival. Oh, God. No! No! Damn it. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. So, I kind of got trapped, and I wind up tripping on my own feet. Gonna run, gonna run, gonna run, run, run. Gonna run, gonna run, gonna have some fun. No! What am I running away from? It's just a dark cloud. Just a dark, scary, ominous cloud. Ah, oh, excuse me, Cloud. You have no idea what I can do when I put my head together. Do a flip. Do a flip. Oh, yeah, you can't catch me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, bro. Oh, no, no. Okay, this ominous cloud is not making anything better. Now is the time to face your burden. Or simply to run away. Well, I mean, I'm guessing you're going to have to run away. That's just my guess. Seems like I'm going to have to run away. Excuse me. Excuse me. got to run away from my burden. From my guilty conscience. Yeah, what the heck is wrong with this guy? He said he smashed his mom's skull in. Oh, come on. He said he hit his mom in his skull. And then hit her in the jaw. But wow, that is, that's definitely the words of a killer. So I'm the killer this time. Usually I'm the one running away from the killer. Oh God. As I was saying, usually I'm the one running away from the killer. This time the killer is me. The killer inside. The killer, the killer. The, no, <laughs> please. Okay. Having a hard time figuring out where I need to go. My name is Iggs Benedict. Woo! Sorry, Cloud. I'm just gonna juke you up a bit. Wait, what? He didn't even touch me. 
Oh, he done it. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not even gonna. We're not even gonna get mad. We're not gonna get mad. Already, my voice is getting started to get lost because I recorded like what twelve videos in a row. Oh God. Yesterday, I was um doing a lot of stuff. You know, I was talking. I was doing a lot of talking about YouTube and everything with one of my friends who's trying to get into the YouTube also. So we were talking about it a lot, and I think I probably talked a little bit too much, cause now my voice hurt when I talk. Trying to bump baby lumps, huh? No, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, come on. Do I got glow sticks or something? And why can't I run? Eh, he's a wimp, like, eh. I can't run. My legs hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah, big baby. Show some, show some chauvinism. Face my fears. I am the fear facer. And I will conquer all. Or it will conquer me. Oh, come on. Now I think I went everywhere. I thought I went everywhere, but apparently not. Ugh. Gonna, gonna juke him. No! So, did we kill all the campers too? We had to. Face my fears! Ah! No. So, running and jumping into your fears is apparently a bad idea. It will kill you. Ah! I don't want to face my fears. I just want to go down in tears. Break down, cry. Oh, drink a cold one. Oh, come on. Do it. Do it. Kill me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry to joke you up. Okay, so. I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get mad. Definitely not gonna get mad. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna calm down. We're gonna, we're gonna relax. You know, the more calm I say, the more better the video will play. That didn't make sense, but you know, I think I ran into another dead end. Yep, you know me. Been running into dead ends ever since 1994. I gotta get me a new chair. I need to get me a new more mouse and keyboard. This mouse and keyboard I got really sucks. What? Well, we're not doing so good. We're not doing good at all. We're kind of doing horrible at this point. It's a good thing there's not a death counter. Yeah, I, I know it. I had the um, yawn. Almost sneeze. You ever had a sneeze yawn? We yawn and sneeze at the same time? It hurts like hell. Oh, come on. Let me remember. Left, right, left, 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 right, left. Right. Right. No, right, right, get you killed. Oh, come on. Just face your fears. Left. Right. Right. Left. No! No! Okay, let's do this again. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Death. No! Ah! Why am I cursed? Wait, can I pick up this hammer? Can't pick up the hammer and beat our fears into submission. Left, 
right, right, left, right. Huh. Oh no! Wait, do I gotta just chase? Do I fear? Huh, that's funny. Maybe I gotta just come back this way. Okay. I think I got the remedy. I got the remedy. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah, okay, that is the way. Oh no! Watch out! Don't kill me! No! I said don't kill me! Don't! Don't! Oh! Holy sneezer! Got the tweezers with the sneezers. Oh my goodness! Dudin! Dudin! Oh! Pure agony. I want to go back and play older games I never actually played. Something like Amnesia or something. I don't know. I never played Amnesia. I never got a chance to play Dead Space 1. I never played... Oh, come on. I never played a couple of games, actually. Um, but let me know down in the description if you know any games I should give a try. Longest uh, scary game. Don't request for me to play anything like Call of Duty. Won't happen. I don't play Call of Duty. If I do play Call of Duty or Halo, it's on my own terms. This channel is strictly for scary games. No! Maybe in the future we expand, but stuff like Call of Duty, nah. Nah. Call of Duty? More like Call of Judy. No, you could take your woes and sorrows and shove them up your belly button. Because I don't need any of it, unfortunately. You know, you see me running away. And, you know, I'm like this jackass that's running away from his own thoughts. I'm running away from my own thoughts. I'm running away from my own thoughts. Run away. Run away. Please don't kill me today. Please. Okay. I think I juked the ghost. I think I juked my guilty conscience. Wow, I'm such a badass. Who's more badass than me? No one. I'm the ultimate badass. I think I lost the shadow. I'm not sure, but I'm getting tunnel visual vision. It's got to be a way out of here. I would hope I'm not running around in circles for nothing. Oh no, what would I ever do? I am being chased in the corner. Please don't kill me. He's gonna kill me. I'm gonna die. Where is this exit? Where is this exit? Can't find it. Can't find an exit. Does an exit even exist? Or are we all trapped in here inside this planes of something? Why, oh why am I been running in this circle? Literally, I think I broke the game. The ghost is not trying to chase me anymore. Which mean, I must have won. Which kind of makes sense now that I think about it. It does make a lit two cents I am so awesome and you know that that says something I'm the first man to wrestle ten geese and live to tell the day about it 
geese are usually hostile by nature. And you know, they they talk a lot of trash. They may look like they only quacking at you for a little, but when you actually start to pay attention, you learn that they're smack talking. Smack talking geese. Then you put on your boxing gloves, get ready to fight one. I'm going crazy. I'm literally talking about the times I fought geese. And then their king was Zan Geese. He was a wrestler. And he was the buffest of them all. What's up with this maze? I mean, oh, there it is. Oh. Hey, we did it. I don't feel like an human. More like a machine with a pumping, crackling heart. My guilt isn't what you think it is. It is something much worse. Lead chains around my ankles and wrists are a lot heavier than they seem. I feel like a traitor to myself and to everyone that ever intended to help me. And I hate myself for it whenever I find comfort in someone else's pain. Seeing that my life is not that bad and that others went through much worse. And I was jealous of them, of them. How strong they are, how they managed to walk upright. Maybe I was just looking for pity from my wrong people, from the wrong people. Pity and there were, and nothing but pity. I was left as a poor man with a soul descended from hell. Pity and nothing more. Well, there we go. I did it. It took me like running in a circle for like, I don't know, 20 minutes to actually figure out what I supposed to do. Game had more reading than I thought. This game is dedicated to nobody and it should never be decided to anyone, dedicated to anyone else. There is no other reason for this story to exist but to cause guilt. Let your burden be your guide. Not everything is explained. Dare to question why, what, who. That is the whole point. Burden. Okay, I get it. It's kinda, kinda. If you would like to try the game out for yourself, it will be down in the below, down below in the description. And you can burden it up for yourself. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and maybe subscribe. Either way, do what you wanna. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.